Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today we are going to have a fun one. We are heading out the door uh, because, well, we are heading to Range Rover, Land Rover. That is the destination of today. There's things that I want to talk about. First of all uh, is Range Rover Insurance. We're going to talk all about that. I'm going to find out and tell you everything in today's video as well as my Range Rover Sport SV, what's going on with that and as well as let's see what cars are out and about. So we're going and uh, we're gonna have a good one. Right, I've just arrived at Land Rover Battersea because I'm gonna, well, we're gonna walk around here and we're gonna talk about so much in this, all Range Rover stuff. One thing we're gonna talk about as well is the car market because the car market is slightly moved on new Range Rover Sports. Uh, they just have, they've had a slight drop. You used to sort of have to order them and they'll be overs, now they're, Slight, slightly discounted. Tesla, that's not part of it. We have a, another Range Rover Sport just here. I love them, I think they're such good news. And obviously my diesel one's not coming anymore, but if it was, I'd be super excited. I just think they are really, really cool. And then we have another 70, 73 plate car here. And uh, yeah, there's uh, good news if you were gonna be buying one of these cars, because you can now, well, I'm gonna talk about it, but you can basically insure them, but let's talk about that more in this video. We have a first edition here, 73 plate, and then we have, well, literally the same one as what I was gonna buy, and then we have a 73 plate, big Range Rover, which uh, looks, looks cool as well. Very, very cool. Oh, there's some fancy stuff inside, so let's go in, because we'll have a look in here. Oh, wrong door. <laughs> Now, there is good news if you were thinking about getting uh, the all new Range Rover. It's good news because we do know insurance and everything else has been an absolute nightmare. That's nothing to do with the cars. The cars are brilliant. I've always been the biggest Range Rover fan in the world. It's literally because of cars getting stolen left, right and centre. And if you live in London and uh, you went for an insurance quote, every single one would say outright no. Now, it's been talked about and Range Rover are bringing out their own insurance now how about this for a big Range Rover and the color that blue color is incredible look at that unbelievable it's called velocity blue oh I love that color I genuinely have not seen many in that color before velocity blue might be my new favorite color 128,850 pounds but is an incredible spec Look at that, wow, black interior as well. It's just a wafter, half t sort of half toned interior. It's just an absolute wafter. Range Rover Sport, uh, white with the sort of the black wheels. This is the D330 model. This is the diesel mild hybrid with the very nice wheels on it as well. Lovely interior. Right guys, quickly, let's have a little look on car vertical at a car which has been badly damaged and how you guys need to get involved if you are buying a car so you know that the car is not damaged and it doesn't have a history which you're not sure about. This Gallardo is not in a good way, but we're checking through the report. Theft, it wasn't stolen in the past. It shows you all of that. The odometer, it shows all of the mileage records and if it has a mileage discrepancy. Mileage clocking is such a big thing at the moment and we need to stop it and Car Vertical is doing exactly that. This vehicle was marked as scrapped and uh, yeah, you can see here the record is found scrapped and also imported. Uh, but yeah, scrapped is a massive thing. This vehicle has been damaged twice and this vehicle has also been marked as an insurer's write-off. It classifies where the damage is, etc. And then we also have a full timeline of when the car was imported, inspected, the ownership change, plate change. And that's what I mean. These guys go into so much detail. It is just unbelievable. And what I love is the photos because this is a bad way. You might want it if you want it and you want to fix it, fair enough, but it's not in a good way. So if it has been fixed, you will be aware. Use my code Archie, get involved guys. Let's get back to the video. Well, this is a nice place to be, not gonna lie. Uh, but let's talk about a little bit about the Range Rover insurance because this is big news, big, big, big news. Now the first place I saw it was on the car dealer uh, website and it says, and you'll be able to see it on your screen, I'm gonna sort of play it alongside me as I'm talking about it. JLI launches insurance product for Range Rover customers in the face of rising theft. New insurance product tackles problems JLR say some clients have encountered. It covers new and used 
purchases, 4,000 quotes have been provided so far with an average monthly premium of under £200. That's a big difference following announcement of 10 million investment in enhancing the vehicle security. Now this really, really is uh, incredible news and uh, it just means that, look, you can insure the car because I, I, I think it was happening at Range Rover dealers all around the country. They, they'd buy a car and people would cancel it because they can't get insurance. And now they are offering their own policy and I think this is uh, big news because I just think it will stable the market and it will encourage people. Um, the new Range Rovers have way better security than the older ones, but it's still recommended if you get one, put a ghost on it, put a tracker on it, put a Pandora on it, put whatever you can put on it security wise. She says that latest vehicles were highly resilient to thefts and quoted UK police data showing that since January 2022, just nine out of the 12,200 new Range Rovers on the road have been stolen, 0.07%. So the new one has massive security upgrades compared to the older ones. And this makes a big difference for me with my Range Rover Sport SV coming uh, very shortly in January, February, March time, uh, around those, I don't really know, but it's around that time. It will mean I can get insured, which means I take delivery of the car. Good news. Now this is Bedlam, the long wheelbase Range Rover. <laughs> Check out the long wheelbase SV. P615 Carpathian Grey, 209 thousand pounds look at the side steps on it this is mayhem let's have a little look inside oh wow look at this jeez this is nice really really nice let's have a look and look in the back <laughs> that is chaos look at the luxury of this feet up we'll have a nice time in here we have a screen just here I believe that's a screen honestly that is unbelievable. Love the satin wheels as well. Oh, soft close. No soft close. But look at that. What do you reckon? £209,000 for a long wheelbase. That is just mad. We have the Defender. Check out this. <laughs> the longest Defender you have ever seen absolutely mind-blowing what else do we have up here we have another new Range Rover just there black with the silver wheels love that let's have a little look what else we have a very nice Defender just here and this it takes me on to the older Range Rover Sport so I think it's cars like this which are generally the issue with insurance and everything else um, I think this is the one uh, because what people do they actually to cut a hole out of the back and then they can do some random stuff and there's even videos circling online on how people do it which is just shocking that there's like people selling kits to do it and everything i just think it's just outrageous what's going on uh, but anyway like i say with this new insurance what i'm hoping is it will just stable the car market for these range Rover sports the range Rover sport sv and this model and everything else svr sorry not sv i'm talking about sv and sport but you know what i mean so hopefully this will sort of help it all out a little bit. I personally think this is a fantastic value for money car with these being 35, 40 grand. It will now allow people to drive them. So fingers crossed, but make sure if you are going to do something like this, make sure you um, get yourself a ghost tracker, everything else. I think it's, that's the one important feature of it that you need to do. And then we have this very nice Defender here, which I filmed before, which lovely green color, which looks absolutely incredible as well. I think this is great value at 35, 40 grand for something like this. What other car could you drive? Well, there you go. In the window, it says 42,000 pounds, 42,999. I don't know. It's just fantastic value. Fantastic value. Right time now back. And uh, it's always good to go to Dan Lando Battersea and have a little look around. Love that blue Range Rover. It's super, super cool. Uh, my Range Rover, I keep doing updates for you guys, but all I can say, it's going to be early part of the year. Um, that's the only update I've got. There are a few online of the new Range Rover Sport SVs. It was at like 280 at one point, all these cars are online for. They're now 249, and there's one, I believe, up at 215. And these are all January cars, some of them specs and others. Fundamentally, they're still going for overs. Let's see when the first ones get delivered. And uh, if my one's not one of the first, which I think it should be, 
then I'll film one of the first and uh, we'll go from there. But it's all exciting stuff. I can't wait. I personally think it's just the coolest car, but that's my own personal view. Everyone has their own view in the car market, what they like. Some people prefer Urus, some people prefer an RSQ8, some people prefer whatever. Range Rover Sport SV for me, the daddy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know what you think to all the insurance malarkey which has been going on. But all in all, it is good news. And I'll see you for the next video.